and <laughs> welcome to Back to the Retro Review. I am the Bearded Geek. Joining me as always is Mikey the Freak. What's up? And Bebo. Bebo. <laughs> Today. No comment, Bebo. Come on no. now. At this point, I'm just used to it. I, I got you. <laughs> Today we are going to be reviewing the movie The Great Outdoors starring John Candy. Bebo, why don't you tell us a little bit about this movie? Uh, so basically, um, John Candy is taking his family up to a lake house retreat uh, where, you know, he went with his dad and he's just doing that to basically do like the like father, like son thing. He's trying to do it with his two boys while the family's up at the cabin. His brother-in-law played by Dan Aykroyd and his family surprise them and crash their vacation and with that, all kinds of shit uh, just takes place. A bunch um, of hilarity. Yes. <laughs> this, this movie is very hilarious and, in my opinion, very quotable um, if you're a fan of the movie. Um, I know I, I quote a lot of the lines all the time. Um, I'm sure we'll be doing it throughout this particular episode, so y'all enjoy. Um, if you haven't seen the movie, it's definitely something you need to see if for no other reason than to understand what we'll be quoting later on throughout this damn episode. Um, <laughs> but uh, since this was my pick, I'm going to let you guys go with your thoughts on the movie. Right. So, Mikey the Freak, how about you? Yeah, um, you know, I, I like Dan Aykroyd in this movie. He was, uh, at, you want to punch him in the fucking throat, really. <laughs> uh, at, <laughs> you do? The first, 10 minutes, wow. first 10 minutes, you're like, you're going to punch, I'm going to punch you in the throat. I'm going to reach to the TV wow. and punch you in the throat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it, <laughs> the, um, the expressions that he has um, is, is comical and very overacting. And I think that's what he brought to that character. Um, so, you know, two of the scenes, uh, the first scene that uh, the bearded geeks talking about was uh, when the, uh, the bat actually gets into the cabin itself and it, it whizzes by John Candy's uh, head, Chet, and he walks out and he's like, it's huge. It's like a two pounder. And, and uh, Dan Aykroyd wow. just going, wow, wow. And they, they just, they really like super close. <laughs> to his face and want to get that expression and you're just like why did they do that five times that doesn't what the hell who cares <laughs> um and then the other scene is when the uh the bald bear is uh into the cabin and he stands up huge and then all you see is dan aqua just go <laughs> at that pause and don't say anything. And it's almost like, you know, he's overacting to nothing that's there. Right. And, uh, you know, who knows if the bear was physically there or there was something in between them or they split it. Who knows? I know they're not going to put their, their actors in, in harm's way with a 10 foot, 10 foot grizzly bear. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I think, uh, you know, John Candy's uh, portrayal of wanting to be the, the, perfect father and go up and in and just wanted to take in the sights and the lake and fishing and wanted that father son moment i mean who doesn't want that with with any of their kids mm -hmm. um and you know to have it somewhat work out in some scenes and then the other scenes you know he's like you know you look out there when him and dan Aquas and you know what do you see and he goes i see what was it uh he went way too yeah. way too fast, but he was talking about uh, you know refineries and waste management and and condominiums just, and <laughs> resorts. Yeah. He's like, what do you see? I'm, oh, I see trees. I see trees. <laughs> trees. Yeah, <laughs> and like unprocessed land and all this stuff and building and yeah. So and I can understand it. You know, he was a um, um, an investment tycoon, and I I did think it was kind of uh, funny uh, that. He says that he hasn't done stock trading in years, like two years. And, you know, he was a stockbroker in trading places. Uh, oh, yeah. So, yeah. so I was like, oh, that's that's funny because I think it was, a, I, if I got my facts right, I think it was pretty close to when they filmed it. The trading places was around 86. Uh, somewhere around there. I don't know. Uh, I have, yeah, to, yeah, I have I mean, to look it up, but yeah. Yeah, I, we'll have to look it up. I think Bevo's over close there. Close timeline. The fact, close 1983. Oh, okay. so uh, a couple of years. Yeah, about five. So so I thought it was kind of funny that, you know, he, he referenced that. It's probably a 
you know, a moot point, but I always relate people and actors with other movies. You know, that's mm-hmm. my segment. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, so so I I like the movie. It's funny. There was very a lot of comedic scenes. The old ninety sixer was great. <laughs> I try, and trying to eat the food and um you know thanks for the reference you know i've watched this movie 100 plus times right and and i had to ask and i don't think i've ever asked anybody the question but when when he's eating the old 96 er and all he has is gristle and fat and they're like oh yeah we'll get that last bite down them no problem uh, but you know it'll take a while but it'll go down you know he the guy was like that's not the last bite so I, I never, I was trying to read the inscription or what was on the plate behind the gristle. And I think I was looking too far into it. And I yeah. think they were, sh- I think they were showing just the gristle, like yeah, the, they were sh- the gristle and the right. fat. And, and that's why he was like scouring and, and trying to run away and, and, and scared. So I was like, I love the little John oh. Candy had at that point though, too. Yeah. It was absolutely perfect. Just the. That was a look of desperation, like I cannot do this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it's like, oh yeah, if I could get some uh, dessert down, I can mean, throw in a, some Paul Bunyan hats for the kids. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, so the um, the actress that uh, um, that Buck fell in love with uh, was was a hottie back in the uh, back in the eighties, yeah. and they'll th- yeah, it's very hot, uh, but. You know, she was one of those actresses that doesn't, you know, didn't really do much. Uh, a couple stints here and there. Uh, but always, uh, I thought she played a good part as a local. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought you she did good she, for the role. Yeah, she did a pretty good job. And then she kind of brought that, you know, who doesn't want to go on vacation with their family as a teenager? Which he, he was probably 15, maybe 16, and 17, give or take, right? And uh, have a little uh, hook up. fling. Hook up, hook up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're like, I always hope that. But hey, let, we're going to North Carolina. Man, I hope I meet somebody. Right. <laughs> That'd be nice. Um, but yeah, you know, it, it never happened. So um, <laughs> yeah, it was always always hopeful. It never happened. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but so so good scenes. Uh, but um, so bearded bearded uh, geek, what do you? What was your uh, best parts of the movie? Well, starting off, this movie puts you right in the mood. Asleep? Oh, yeah, sorry. no, it puts you right in the mood. You see John Candy and the family driving down the road, the uh, road, yes, singing "Yakety Yak, Don't Talk, Don't back. Talk Back." You know, they're all having fun with that song. Um, it puts you in a good mood. They get to the log cabin and check in and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, just the whole. Wanting to do something with your son, uh, feeling that, you know, I'm, I'm a father as well, so I get that. And then having someone to kind of spoil it, but it's oh, yeah. it's family, but so you can't really say too much. Um, but, you know. It, until, it, until he snaps. Yeah, he snaps. Until, until they snap. And then you have the big bald bear, and then you have the big bald butt bear. <laughs> <laughs> that, bro, my, by far the funniest scene in the whole entire movie when they blow his ass out yes and the the sound the <laughs> sound that the bear makes as he's running, running away. away and then they and then they deep they deep pan oh yeah they deep pan and then you can hear it through the, through the, through the forest, forest. <laughs> through the entire forest honestly I, I laughed at i laughed hysterically at that honestly when somebody mentions the great outdoors that is the only that is the first image <laughs> It pops into my head is the bear the ass bear. Out. Yeah, the yeah. bear ass bear. That yeah. is like the only image. <clears throat> but yeah, this movie it was it was it was great. It was um it was it was pretty great outdoors. good. Yep, great outdoors. Uh Bebo, since you uh this was your movie, why don't you go ahead and just give us your um I, I this is a high ranking one for me. Um it's one I can watch at any time. It doesn't matter where it's at in the film. If I come on to it, it's one of those ones I'm going to stop and watch. Um, It's even today, in my opinion, the comedy still holds up. Uh, Story itself does too. You very much have two completely different families. You have your typical, like, you know, apple pie American down home family. And then you have the 
douchey von douchebag family. Um, <laughs> von <Dusch. laughs> um, you know, one that is about just enjoying the moment. The other one is very much about, you know, Funny. Money, high price luxury, you know, yeah. The egotistical the show off. Yeah, you the, have the you have property boat. brothers, and then you have lifestyles of the rich and famous. Okay, they're very yeah. they're very different families. But when it comes down to it, their families they'll always be there for each other in some way, um, trying to help them. Mm -hmm. A lot of comedy in it, um, as you guys mentioned, uh, or as uh, the bearded geek missing when they pull in. You know, after seeing Yak Yak, I do love the fact that they pull into the parking lot. And get out, and yeah. every and every door hits a tree. Yeah. Um, and I'm and, I, and the, the sad lot. part is, as a big man myself, I'm sitting there watching that. I'm like, how the hell did John Candy get out? Because that was really tight. <laughs> um, but uh, it was. It's a very good movie. I loved everything about it, it's from the opening credits to even the end credits. Um, you know, they it started with, with a song and ended with a song and just a bunch of hilarity. Um, mm -hmm. So for me, I'm probably going to give this movie <clears throat> out of nine. Nice, nice. Uh, what about you, uh, Mikey? Yeah, um, you know, as I said before, I'm I've always been a huge John Candy fan. You know, rest in peace. He uh, he definitely died too young in his career, uh, but you know we understand. But the um, yeah, a lot of his movies were funny. This one was great. He's the wholesome American family that you know, like you know, like you said, just wants to spend time in the outdoors, the great outdoors. He doesn't want a huge vacation. Like that's where cruise. they got the name. What? Holy shit! <laughs> um, but then you got Dan Aykroyd, where's you know his obnoxious in-law that um, cares nothing about money, thinks he knows everything. Um, I, you know, I, I kind of relate to this uh, movie. Uh, there's always somebody in your family that has that mentality that you know they they are they all they're always right they, they think they know everything right bebo so um i just wanted to say you know that's you know i love you so the <laughs> i'm pretty sure that's more in line with your family <laughs> i hope they're not, not watching. necessarily you <laughs> no no comment i'm sorry that's all right. They don't. They don't watch. Moving so we on. Might be good. <laughs> Moving on. So, um, just wanted to say, yeah. So, <laughs> but I, I, I loved uh, Dan Aykroyd's character, and I think he played it played it very well. Yes. The uh, the facial expressions, the overacting, he does that in almost every one of his damn movies. Um, and that's just that's just who he is. Yep. You know that's that exactly role. Style, he, yeah, yeah. It, exactly, exactly. He wants to play the part, and he wants to play it where you re, you will remember him in that movie or things that he does in that movie. Um, the 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 lamp shotgun. <laughs> it's a, it that is like yeah, a but it's loaded. Yeah, <laughs> I love how they had to plug it into the wall. I know. Too. I was just like, <laughs> yeah. Really? I'm like, it's a shotgun. Why do you got to plug it in to shoot it? That didn't make any sense either. I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, so um, that's kind of a staple of like the the outdoors woodsman. You always have to have a shotgun lamp. If, if, yeah. if you ever been sure, out the woods, yeah. if I can just make get sure a shotgun lamp, lamp and, and make sure it's blur, you know, chandelier, I'll be good. Make sure An it's antler loaded. chandelier, yeah, yeah antler <laughs> chandelier. Um, but yeah, um, I, I'm gonna I, I go a little bit lower than a nine, but I'd say it's probably around a seven and a half for me. Um, there's a lot of comedic stuff. It is a fun movie to watch. Uh, I think with all ages, really. Um, the last, you know, the credit in the credit scene where you know Dan Aykroyd again is acting his stupid self like he always yeah. does in every movie. But it looked like they were having such a fun time. And I don't, I, I would say, I don't think they were acting then because you can kind of see that fun playfulness as, hey, let's just have a big party and let's film it. That's what it felt so like. You, it felt like the, uh, yeah. the shooting, the after shooting party, the, the wrap up yeah, party. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The wrap up party. It's like, so. it's like you can act, you can do your actor if you want or your, your, your character if you want, um, or you can just have fun and be yourself. And I, you can kind of see some of them doing that, and I could see John Candy just going, you yep. know that that when they when they go onto his face and uh, close up, even with Annette Benning, 
Annette Benning's character was try- would drive you nuts with her laugh. <laughs> the laugh was absolutely. I'm just like, then, oh my the god! Thing I it's hated like- the most is whenever he, you know, at the end, whenever it's the big bear scene and he's trying to, and he's going bear, 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 bear. big bear, big bear, big bear. <laughs> and I was like, Jesus, it's like one step away from Janice from Friends. It was so <laughs> annoying. It yeah. was so annoying. That uh, that Fran Drescher also oh, like yeah. the yes, thing. yes. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, that that was one that the laughter was like, ah, oh, Roman, ah. So it's like, oh my god, just stop, please stop. Uh, but I thought she played it pretty well. Um, but anyway, um, I, I'm, I'm at a seven and a half with this movie, so uh, fair to geek. What about you? Um, I'm gonna go a little bit higher than you on this one. I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie, I would recommend this mm-hmm. movie to any age range. Um, you know, well. Maybe a little, a little older. Maybe not like five, six, but maybe a little <laughs> maybe older. Maybe teenager. Yeah, yeah teenager because you higher. know, there's a couple lines. You know, I'm gonna introduce Mr. Thick Dick to Mr. Urinal Cake. You know? <laughs> I mean, I've look. been waiting for it the entire fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, but yeah, like I said, it puts you right in the mood of the movie with yeah. yakety yak. Then you know, you had the bear jumping on top of John Candy on top of the door. That's the hilarious. Dude, I was laughing so <laughs> hard. You just have John Candy. He's like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> John Candy's like, uncle, uncle. <laughs> and then he gets off. And yeah, then, then the bear ends up getting off. Yeah, he just like wanted, the bear understood him. Yeah, he just wanted John Candy to yell. <laughs> he's like, oh, okay, I'll get off of you now. <laughs> but yeah, this movie is funny. Uh, you know, it's not over the top, like, stupid humor. Uh, I mean, maybe a little part, a couple parts, but like for the most part, it's 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 a really funny movie that you know it's not too over the top. So I'm going to give this an eight point five. Uh, it is well written, well well thought out, well well acted. So eight point five for me. Uh, the John Hughes John Hughes movie. It makes sense. Yep. Yeah. Hey, Bebo, man, what you got for some movie trivia? Uh, just a few things here. Um... One thing I thought was interesting is that uh, this is the debut feature film for Net Binning. Yeah. Um, you know, which, I mean, the, the character y- you love to hate in a way, but she did a great <laughs> job with this. Um, just a few other things I thought were kind of interesting tidbits. Uh, one, you know, uh, shortly after Roman, which is Dan Aykroyd's character, um, shows up to the cabin. Um, him and Chet, played uh, by John Candy, uh, sit on the deck, and this is the part where they're looking across. Um, and you know, he asks, you know, what do you see when you look out there and stuff? If you pay attention, they're actually drinking from Star Wars Burger King promotional glasses. Really? Um, <laughs> Roman's drinking from a Return of the Jedi uh, job of the Hut glass, and Shet is drinking from a Luke Skywalker glass from uh, Empire Strikes Back. Nice. Um, I, I used to have those. That's funny. Yeah. So I thought that was kind of uh, interesting. Um, the, the, I mean, there's a lot of stuff on here. Um, the other thing that I thought was uh, different and that I do like the name change is the film was originally going to be called Big Country. And yeah. I feel like the great outdoors does a lot better for it than the big country. Yeah. That, um, that sounds that sounds like it could be a totally different movie. Yeah. Um, but uh that that's just a few things I had here. Um it's there's a lot of trivia. Um a lot of it that I found was like things mainly about like the production type stuff, uh, but nothing too interesting to where like you'd be like, holy shit, I can't believe that. Um but yeah, the, the one interesting thing, just in my own opinion, that I've actually just recently thought of in the movie is the fact that Dan Aykroyd has, is a brunette um, and his wife played by Annette Bening is a brunette. So how the hell did they have two redheaded stepchildren? Mm. Redheaded stepchildren. <laughs> oh, if they were step, but you know what I mean? But they have two redheaded yeah. uh, twins. So that was very odd to me. Who I think said maybe four lines in the entire fucking movie. Oh, we need they, a prequel. they said more. We they need said a prequel. more. <laughs> no, <damn Yeah>. <laughs> they they said more they said more on the way when they're going through the woods mm-hmm. than they did when they interacted with any actor in the actual movie itself very true all right and they were by themselves <laughs> yes We're... all right now it's time for <clears throat> movie memorabilia 
Today, I have for you nothing because there's nothing in this freaking movie <laughs> for movie memorabilia worth showing. Nothing. Go online, get yourself a movie poster. You'll be fine. And yeah. you get nothing. You lose. <laughs> Good day, sir. <laughs> so, so, moving on, we have Related Reels. What you got for Related Reels, Mikey the Freak? All right. So, uh, since, since we have done John Candy in the past, um, I did want to mention, uh, kind of to go back to uh, Bebo's segment just real quick. We have a, um, it, it, it's a relation with John Candy and uh, his uh, relation to Chicago. So John Candy, as everyone knows, he was from Canada and he moved down to Chicago and did uh, SCTV. So Second City Television, which was a huge uh, 70s production, 80s. 70s early 80s production that did with several actors from the a, a plus actors from the 80s right so there's literally like eight movies that john candy either is from chicago or mentioned chicago or going to chicago um so he kind of kept those movies uh near and dear like the city that he's from near and dear in the script. Cause technically you don't have to be from Chicago in any of those movies, but they wrote it into the or script. In any so movie. Can, right. It, yeah. yeah. You don't have to be right. So it, it's, it's more or less like the only one that, that is predominant that he was in Chicago was um, the baseball movie. Um, my mind just went blank. I apologize. Uh, um, rookie of the year. Rookie of the year. Jeez. Thank you, sir. Uh, where he was the Cubs announcer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I forgot it. It's right behind me. I'm such a dumbass. Right there. I'm like, let me turn around. No, that's it. That's good. Appreciate that. Wrong um, again, Monty. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, it, it, I thought it was funny. Plane Trains and Automobiles, Home Alone, Uncle Buck, uh, Blues Brothers, all movies where they're in Chicago or from Chicago going to Chicago. Um, and so, it has that. So, I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, but moving on. Um, I went with the first actor I went with was Dan Aykroyd. Everybody knows all his movies. Um, so I'm just kind of, kind of mentioned some of my favorite movies that Dan Aykroyd that you want to watch. Uh, the first one's nothing but trouble, uh, which was love, also has love that movie. Love nothing Funny but movie. trouble. Um, what also has John Candy in it as well. Chevy chase. A lot of those big actors. That had a hell of a cast. It really is. Yeah. Dem Demi Moore. Uh, it's a super weird movie, but yeah, yeah, very, very, very weird very movie. Super weird movie. Um, and then uh, Caddyshack Two. So Caddyshack mm -hmm. Two uh, was was a it's always <laughs> hilarious ass movie. Uh, of course, Ghostbusters, all of them. Ghostbusters One, Two, and After then Life. the new one he was yeah. in Afterlife. Uh, uh, real quick, great. not to interrupt yeah. you, but I just thought of another sort of trivia thing. Uh, that actually has to do with Ghostbusters. He says the same line in Ghostbusters that he does when they are catching the bat. When he gets the bat and he smacks it off of his face in this, he goes, we got it, we got it. He says the same thing in Ghostbusters when they catch oh, Slimer, Slimer in the hotel. Yep. That's funny. I wonder if he related that to it. That's pretty funny. Ad-libbed. One of those ad-libbed <laughs> lines. Um, also, uh, 50 First Dates. Hilarious and Fifty First Dates. He was the uh, the leader of the insane, not insane asylum, I guess, but I guess you would say the medical medical asylum. If y'all haven't seen that, oh yeah, he was, wasn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then um, also, uh, which uh, Bebo would enjoy this because um, it's right about four doors down from his mother. <laughs> um, it's My Girl. That uh, part of My Girl was filmed in. Bartow, Florida, which is where we're from, mm -hmm. very close to us, less than 10 minutes away. And um, the house is still there and still standing and for sale. And for, for sale for $500,000 for $500, for right $500, now. $500,000 <laughs> if you'd like to buy it. So, so if, anybody if anybody is watching our podcast that would like to purchase the Stanford Inn, it's right if there. If you on. would like to purchase a <laughs> piece of memorabilia, Movie history. do we have... There you Gosh, go. For you. There's my movie memorabilia right there. $500,000. <laughs> you can get the house from my girl. Yes. <laughs> um, all right. So uh, moving on, the next actress uh, that I picked was uh, Stephanie. Uh, I think you pronounce it uh, Farsi. 
I, I, I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name, but it sounds right. Sure. Uh, she plays she plays Connie. She's Chet Chet's wife. She was in a, a movie called Sideways, which is also a good movie. If no, not that Sideways. Um, <laughs> a comedy for five year engagement, which is actually a very funny movie. Um, and then, of course, my favorite and really my wife's favorite, Hocus Pocus. She was in Hocus Pocus. <laughs> you knew it would come up. It's, you knew it would come up, Bebo. It's so, your favorite by <laughs> proxy. You have to say it. <laughs> I, I have to say it. Yes. So if she's watching this. Damn it, Kim. <laughs> I love Hocus Pocus. Every year it comes on. Yeah, well, I'm every, in a different state. Hocus Pocus every, sucks. <laughs> <laughs> every every halloween i love it i love it um and then uh, of course annette benning uh predominant actress uh yes uh bebo her very very first movie really and you kind of can tell how young she looks yeah um but uh she was in a movie called bugsy with um warren Beatty. great movie as well uh captain marvel for you marvel fans out there she was in Captain Marvel as the Great Intelligence, and um, American Beauty, which was a great movie, Academy Award nominations, and so forth. Uh, so that is my three picks, awesome. and great, great movies out there, guys. Great movies, yeah, absolutely awesome. Well, as we come to a close, do all the YouTuber things. If you like this video, give us a good old thumb in, hit that like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell us what you'd like us to review. You never know. We could be reviewing that movie soon. Um, you know, like share I said, it. yes, share, share. our post. Please share, share it. Share. Tell everybody. Tell your friends. Share, 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 and definitely hit. You know, give us a thumb and hit that like button. That really does boost our uh, numbers. In and don't forget to subscribe, guys. Um, that way, you get the notifications when the next one's going to be out. Um, just right. make sure you listen to everybody, especially me, because. <laughs> the rest of these guys' opinions don't matter. <laughs> and moving oh, on, Jesus. as we come to a close, that does it for this episode of Back to the Retro Review. I am the Bearded Geek, and for Mikey the Freak and Bebo, I am saying, keep it retro, everybody. See you. Bye.